Simon, first of all, you've had a, a full week. Is that kind of the only positive than not being in a cup competition? <laughs> well, we could have gone to Grimsby and got called off <laughs> and had a wasted journey and then uh, had to get another game in. But obviously the other side of that, the winners of them go to Chelsea. So like, we've we, we tried to win the, um, in the previous round of the Carabao Cup. Didn't happen. Gives an opportunity to recharge the batteries, get some work into the players. So uh, yeah, deal whatever week you've got in front of you. And you've brought in a new player this week. He's in Callum McDonald. What's he bring to the table? Um, young. Um, and, an exciting prospect in terms of he's very flexible in how he plays. He can play left back, he can play left side, left wing back, um, centre midfield as well. So he was a player that Derby thought highly about, but maybe he wasn't going to quite get the opportunities to break into their team. And um, after watching him a few times, like we have over the previous seasons or so, um, we decided it was a good deal for us to go. A young, hungry, looking to improve and, and make a, a living in the game. Not one to give too much away, but we've got a little bit of time left till the transfer window. Any more expected to come? for the fans to get excited, excited about? Well, we're working to try and uh, achieve uh, maybe one or two in, but um, these things are an onward process. You never know if you're going to get uh, get the ones that you want or they fall down by the wayside and you move on to a different target. But we, we are genuinely trying to bring somebody else in, uh, if not two, uh, but we'll have to wait and see where that goes. There's one last team in League One. Were you shocked at the omission of, of Berry? I certainly was. Um, I was driving back from Sheffield United on Tuesday night when the news came out, and it's it's really sad. You do, you did genuinely believe, like a lot of people, that they would be saved. That would be, somebody would be coming in and save them, and, and the football league will be uh, we would be in a better place with Berry Football Club in its uh, in its league. And um, it's such a shame that um, supporters have lost the club, uh, players have lost the job, staff have lost the job. And we've lost one of the founder members of the EFL, so it's, uh, it's a crying shame. And uh, whether there's any way that they can uh, resurrect the deal or not, I'm not sure. But it, it's, a, it's a tragic story. And it's one that everybody has to be mindful of what can happen. This club has gone through terrible stages, um, but never to the, to the, to, to the brinkness of Berry we're going through and ultimately have gone through. What about Paul Smith, the opposition? Did you get been able to read too much into him the other night because of the cup? <laughs> Well, when I looked at the team last night, it was uh, nearly as strong a team that they could play. Um, we've got some talented players, obviously Marquis, leading scorer last year, over a million pound they paid for him. Um, again, people like Curtis and, and Paul Downing, experienced players, they've got some talented players. Look, they got to the semi-final for the playoffs last year, and that, that takes some doing. Won the, uh, the checker trade, as it was, so got an experienced manager who knows what it's like to put team, a team together, who knows what promotions are, are about. Um, but again, they'll be mindful of what we're capable of doing. We want to buy five, uh, five o'clock on Saturday, still be uh, unbeaten in, in, uh, in League One.